Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, June 27th, 2021, week number... 134. 134. Yep. We'll jump right in. Bill, you go first. Jump right in. Last week, I was 333, and today I was 335. So I'm up to, I don't know, two weeks ago, I was down six. I'm up, down, all around. Um, these are not my best days. Uh, my last couple of weeks have been full of just waking up very sore and falling a couple of times. I've twisted up and hurt my ankle again on that third fall. And uh, then um, he whacked it with the sump pump. And I right got it the with bone. the sump pump too. So yeah, I'm. Uh, I don't know. I guess you have good times, you have bad times, and you have good weeks and you have bad weeks. And lately, I've been having a bad month. <laughs> Wait for my MRI. Another. I don't know, two weeks two or so. Two weeks, I think so, yeah. And uh, get some more answers on this back and the stabs and the leg going numb and losing my strength. And I'm hoping to uh, just feel better mentally, physically, emotionally, because lately I'm kind of down. That's all. Yeah. So where are you at? Last week I weighed in at 146. This morning I'm at 148. My body is still trying to... Um, become shark week for like the last week and a half. This perimenopause is weird, really wreaking havoc with my body. Uh, no migraines, no asthma attacks in the last two weeks, so that's a good thing. Um, hot flashes every day, every night. Um, at last uh, video, we read some of the comments. Uh, Bill has got me some magnesium and some calcium. And collagen. And collagen. And I, I'm i going to look into the moisture wicking jammies. And I think we're going to change up some sheets. Um, it's like 65 Whatever degrees helps you. in the bedroom. And I'm hot and feels not. <laughs> I'm cold, but I'll be fine. Which is normally the other way around. And I snuggle up next to him to get warm and... I've not been sleeping much lately anyway because just my ankle throbbing, my back hurting, so yeah, I'm not I'm not getting a lot of sleep lately. Uh, I do remember in the comments recently here that uh, Donna was mentioning, uh, maybe change up your proteins, and I'm going to do that. I, I have a lot of chicken right now because that's what I buy and eat, so as mm -hmm. this kind of comes and goes through the refrigerator, I will um, maybe just start switching it up, a little bit of pork, a little bit of... Turkey, which is not my favorite. Um, Those are my A little favorites. bit of beef. I'd love to have some steak or just some cheaper cuts of beef that I could afford. <laughs> I'll see what I can do um, for you. Yeah, Costco's. Well, it's not Costco's prices, but grocery store prices, it seems like, are much higher lately. Yes. Yeah, so i got to kind of take it easy on the budget, too. So, But I am going to try and switch some things up. Uh, maybe even switch up some of my vegetables. I was doing Brussels sprouts and broccoli mostly. Maybe mm -hmm. I can switch to some um, green beans and some salad or something. Yeah, you I like know. cut green beans. Sure. Sure I do. do those. I don't like cauliflower, though. I've tried cauliflower a couple times. Just can't get into it. See, I like the cauliflower, but I only like it in its original form. I do not like it cooked. I like the crunch of the cauliflower. You know, I know better, but what sounds really good is uh, lately, for whatever reason, just like melon, like watermelon or something. Oh. But I can't do it just because of the sugars and stuff. I got to be careful yeah. of that, even if I wasn't doing keto, just in general, being right. diabetic, not a good choice. But, I love watermelon. But I do like the melons. I don't know why. I think I saw something on TV the other day. They were having a <laughs> cookout or a barbecue or something. Yeah. They had a big thing of watermelon plate. And I was like, ooh, that looks really good. <laughs> I don't know. Power of suggestion, I guess. Right. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so Stacey's been battling with her stuff and... Um, our schedules are still a little weird. She's working an awful lot of hours, and I've been trying to catch up on when our basement flooded a couple months ago. Still trying yeah. to organize, straighten, and clean down there. As Everything much standing, got moved in a mad dash. As much standing as I can, and then I have to sit down and ice the ankle and stuff because it's just throbbing and screaming. I can't it's even angry. touch any weird. About an inch and a half, I get close to just trying to touch it, and the whole foot jerks. So. Yeah. Well, we'll get through it. It's yeah. just it's just not my best month. <laughs> but, you know, we'll get some more answers next two weeks or so when I get an MRI and find out more about why my back's stabbing me and why my leg is going numb and losing strength. And I don't know. I've even considered buying a cane. That's pretty sad, but maybe it'll help me. 
I just feel so clumsy, like the cane would get in the way and then I'd trip over the cane and fall again. I don't know. I've fallen three times in the last month and a half. I'm kind of getting tired of falling. Yeah, sure. So, but you get your good weeks, you get your bad weeks. And uh, lately, mine are not so hot. I'm ready for a new doubt. You know, deal me some new cards. <laughs> I want a new deck. Start over. Me too. No, I don't want to start over because this whole perimenopause no thing is... I don't know how long that lasts. Months? I, Six I, months a year? I have no I idea. Um, I'll just be freezing. There's... A, I'm saying about oh I snorted. <laughs> I just I'm so over it. My body has changed, and you know. Uh, Welcome the, to your fifties. Ah, uh, you know. I mean, I still feel better than I did at forty, but dang, I'm not loving this, and just it's like my body is not sure what it wants to do, and you know, am I going to go full into menopause, or is going to hang out with me at perimenopause for a while, and uh, I don't know. I guess not to get too personal, but isn't your period delayed or something? Oh my weird god! With... By oh my, my chest has been killing me for it's been over a week hmm. and still nothing. I, I just I don't even I don't even know. It's it's driving me crazy. Yeah, I can feel it. I'm it's, sorry, and I don't see you that much. You know, your your schedules are so busy, and you do double shifts, and you do all these crazy things. So a lot of times from. Nine in the morning till eleven at night. I don't even see you, and then when I do see you, I know you're you're hangry and you're angry and you're hot and irritated. <laughs> Probably more hot than anything. Even my cheeks feel like they're on fire right now. We try and squeak in a little bit of talk time or a little bit of watching something. We've been trying to. Uh, well, we're behind the world, but we were trying to watch uh, Breaking Bad. We're into season four. Yeah. Of Breaking Bad. So uh, we try and catch a half an episode or an episode when we can. But most of it's just trying to find the time where you're awake to be able to do it because you're wiped out. Yeah. Yeah. The other so. night I'm so hot I actually come out here and um, stand on our uh, ceramic tile. tile floor at the entry just to kind of cool my feet and cool my body and <laughs> then yep. get back in bed and try to go back to sleep. It's just crazy. Yeah, and I'm not sleeping just due to the pain. My ankle's throbbing, and every time I move, my back stabs me, and just, yeah, not been the best of weeks. But, you know, I don't know. We'll get through it. Hopefully, I'll look back in a month or two and just be able to say, oh, that was a bad time, but Bye, today's better. <laughs> today's better, right? You know, right. trying to be thankful and count the, the blessings bad. that we do have. We have a lot of good things going, too. So, yeah, so yeah just trying to... Stay positive. And I am going to try and mix up some of the meats and stuff and just, you know, stop that insanity of doing the same thing over and over and not getting results. And maybe just try and confuse the body a little. Throw yeah. some different things at it and say, hey, what are you doing? And who knows? Maybe it'll be worse. Maybe it'll be better. I don't know. I'm happy with the way things have gone so far. I haven't regained a bunch of weight or anything. Right. Just haven't been going on the downward trend like I'd like. So, yeah, I don't know, get myself through some of this physical stuff and just start feeling better again. That's the hope. I'd like to be able to get out there and go for a walk and go for a go bike for ride. A bike ride. Right now, I'm like yeah. literally looking at an Amazon for canes because I feel like I need some extra help. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, so I don't know. We'll That's see. Funny. All right, guys. Well, I hope if you are on your keto journey or just whatever journey you're on, that things are going well for you and that you have a great week. And we will check in with you next week. See you later, guys. All Bye. Right. Bye-bye.